What up, YouTube? It's Juicy going over um, just a week, giving y'all some night good announcements. Uh, first about the game, and then on my personal life. So we're gonna start with the big in-game news. I am an officially an on an envoy, so I will be trying to participate in like the CC tournament, trying to play test or learn some of the character kits on the play test, things like that. So uh, I am an envoy. So so. Um, yeah, that's that's the exciting part. That's the first thing that's in game. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, so uh, if you're just coming in, I am an envoy. So just kind of letting. Yeah, thank you. All right. So uh, going over the first round, I ended up going against Dave. I thought that was OG Diamond Dave. It turned out not to be him. I'm gonna go over just some of the attacks, but I may go into a couple that are um. Special, so like this one you've seen before, probably, hopefully, in the spreadsheet. So I'm not going to go over this one, but I did it on my way extreme. Uh, this one I ended up doing is just double sack and an SD Doom. I find that Doom gives you a little bit more protection if you're trying to clean this team up, uh, especially when they get into this 3.7, 3.8 million team uh, power. Um, Cosmic Ghost Rider just doesn't have the health to deal with uh, 3.8 million teams. And so Doom is just a good... Because he can ult... Uh, in time to kind of get ahead of the um, spider society because uh, you're going to rewind three of them that that doom's going to ro roll and then you got this um, so just to kind of go over it let me get this quickly Oop. mirror crashed we're going to reset it real quick so first thing you do is you rewind the left side right and want to stun the right they ended up getting resist on me, so that was kind of annoying, but it's going to end up being fine. My Doom is going to kind of save me at the end. Yeah. Uh, again, you can go to much stronger teams. Um, in my last round, I ended up using Cabal as my cleanup team just because this fight is just so aggravatingly strong um, with the Spider Society having so much... Uh, stats and then Mephisto being Mephisto right because sometimes I don't even get to the Mephisto ult and then if he goes you just die um, another good option is SD with the Eternals SD you can rewind them and then you can uh, Eternals can jump up in the air rewind them back and back again and you should be able to get at least a few of them get into a good spot so um, right because once you get Peter B down the, the team falls apart um, again, I had to kill Mephisto because he had his ult ready. I didn't manage to get to his ult in time, so I knew that that had to happen. And then we just cleared the house. This fight is going to be the Illuminati Mirror. So what you do in the Illuminati Mirror is it doesn't matter whether Shuri gets ability blocked or not. Just make sure she's a skirmisher. You're going to come back and you're going to ability block Hank either with Shuri special or with uh, Shuri's basic, which will pass back the immunity. Then you're going to turn. You're going to go all in on the Captain Britain. You're just going to attack him with everything you got um as once he falls uh the rest of the team will just fall apart so you're gonna go in there you're gonna stun him um right i got lucky here because he actually um what it called resisted the hank on the first hit and then i ended up coming back with my uh, captain Britain went first and so i'm unable to control him i'm gonna eventually just kill him right because your Captain Britain is going to be throwing up safeguard, things like that. He's going to keep himself alive and well. Uh, this is a pretty decent punch up. This is a one diamond uh, Captain Britain. Now mine is only 5-5. Five, five. Keep that in mind. And so I'm just going to clean this up nice. So let's see, once Captain Britain dies, you're going to see this team just fall apart. Um, yeah, see. They're going to keep going. Oof. Try this quickly. I wish there was a pause button on those recordings. Okay. All right. So Black Bolt just fell over. Then it's going to come over here. I basically, at this point, I throw it on auto uh, because they're not going to come back when it's 5v3. Um, next round, I go against Tony Stark. Um, he tried to one-shot the Mephisto uh, Spider Society team. I'm just gonna warn you that this that that fight is very sketchy. Um, I've seen four people try to attempt it, and I've tried it myself, and I've lost on it. And the only time that um, 
The only person that's successfully one shot my Mephisto Spider Society ended up winning that match, so it was good on him. So it's a high risk, uh, very high reward. If you get it done, you win, but the large majority of the time, you're going to lose. Okay. Uh, going into room one, I figured out that Extreme does a fantastic job of one shotting um, Extreme Dorm in one. So you're just going to get it completely ahead of us. So, so North Star is going to pull off the revives. Uh, Rogue's going to go and hit the Guardian, but it's going to be fine. Because um, you're going to get all these turns, Wolverine. Um, as you see, they just melt. Uh, because the Gambit, this is like a... This is a 2 million team versus a 3.3 .3 million team. Yeah. And then also, sorry to all in uh, stream. Uh, this is kind of why I said crashing, things like that. Been dealing with a little bit, so... Um, until I get this cleared up, I won't be streaming. Also, the school year just started, uh, so that's also been a focus of me right now. Okay. All right, so next attack I did is going to be Spider Society. Uh, they have a full Spider Society in four, so I ended up having to use Tangle Web SD. Um, so let's get into that fight. Come on, let's go. And so first thing you do is you're going to have 2099 next to... Um, Miss Harwell Hardlight, right? He, she's just gonna die, or he's just gonna die from all the damage. Um, his Hardlight's gonna taunt. He's gonna get hit. Uh, he's not gonna survive that, but it does give you a chance to get your Weaver charges up, right? Because 299 is gonna get hit, which gives Weaver that the char the energy she needs to ult in this room. So then you're just fine. In any other room, this is this is cake. It's not even difficult at all. But if you find yourself in room four, this is a good uh, combo. This one is for sure you go all in on Peter and you don't look back. Once you get Peter down, this team just falls apart, as you're going to see. But Peter takes a long time to go down in this fight. Because um, I'm going to just keep boiling on him. right. He's going to keep going under stealth because of the Gwen. Um, but that's going to be... It's going to be fine. But uh, my goal was just to kill the Peter and if I had died. Uh, again, Weaver is providing the most protection out of all of them. All right, because I'm eventually going to get to use the and at the same time Robbie is there and then right Peter's dead and then the, the team is just gonna melt away because again they're missing a lot because of the charges now Penny's gone uh, I'm pretty sure at this point I just throw it on auto it's gonna be nice easy cleanup but there's a good little counter for you if you need to counter full spider society in room four you just want to use a tangled Make sure your 2099 is next to Miss Marvel Hardlight. Uh, this counter does not work if 2099 doesn't get hit at the start. Um, which he'll just get himself killed by the Gwen because most people's 2099s are just strong enough. So uh, she's going to burn my efficiency, which is fine. But there we go. Let me take that from the top. All right. So I ended up trying to do. Uh, What's it called? Illuminati into this Mephisto team getting my butt kicked. Uh, did not work at all. The Eternals flipped me, flipped all my buffs because I don't have safeguard. Ended up bleeding out the Mephisto ulted and I just died. Uh, but I backed out fast enough to get out of there. So I ended up going there with Cabal, uh, MOE. Ended up killing the Surfer. I was like, I have to save this. Can't back out. And then Illuminati was able to pull it off. So I ended up pulling my CB off of the team. And then they were able to just clean up this. Um, they, they're able to tank still very well, especially after that sec. You know, they can still fight through the Mephisto. Uh, again, I ate the ult at the very end of the last match, um, just to kind of go over that. But, so this team is still very strong for a cleanup. So uh, just keep that in mind that you can definitely try to sack Mephisto teams once and then come in there with your Illuminati and uh you should be able to clear them pretty easily right see how i just killed that cersei pretty easily uh this has been a spider society i would have just double sacked this that would have been too much for this team to handle uh without captain britain if i had sacked it once then cb illuminati would probably win 90 90 to 100 percent of the time as long as you pull them a fistal ultimate um this team is actually scarier because you don't have safeguard and this team fl has so many flips um Alright, Sassy. Alright. 
Um, good point. Uh, also, in the middle of this, uh, my wife was puking. So at this point, actually not sure what happens. I ended up throwing this on auto. Uh, I was doing this in the morning. I could hear my wife going through, uh, what's it called? Morning sickness. And I just bolted to make sure that it happened. Ended up throwing an auto here and it just cleared. So anyway, later. Power, power overwhelming from the, the black. Um, then. Uh, had some interesting fights. So this one, this is probably the um, time I played it the safest. Um, a lot of these attacks you're going to see have already been done before. So, um, but I'll just kind of go over them. So the first thing I did is I did MOE North Star into one. Uh, I did the Tangle Web, Red Hole, Cable, APOC into room one. It was super clean, super easy. Uh, New Warriors, he had Hive Mind. He actually didn't have, uh, he had Sus on offense, which made this an efficiency battle. Um, Illuminati'd his um, Superior Six uh, BK. And then Mephisto, I double sacked and then just cleaned up with Cabal. Um, I didn't need Cabal elsewhere. And then uh, we just went in with. Oh, wow. Um, Sessie, you're amazing, man. And then the last room, we uh, did Guardian SD. Uh, offense up made it where they just melted it. SD was already going to win. Guardian just helps make it win more. Um, yeah. Yeah. So the last thing is, I'm going to go over my defense that I've been running and what helped me. Um, so room one, uh, superior six of Black Knight. Uh, this team is a pain in the butt. It's going to want the people are going to want to take an easy ride out with Cabal MOE uh, or Cabal with something right or Illuminati was, you know, Illuminati is going to walk over this. No problem whatsoever. But this, if, if they use that there, then there's so many other options in the other rooms for them. Uh, so that is my room one. You can get that ability block everywhere. There's just so many nice little combos with this. Uh, also, the free-to-play version of the Illuminati has zero chance of winning against this because you can't get to the Goblin. Goblin's going to go rewind your entire team and kill you. So you can't do that. So you're only so if you're free to play, this even lowers your options even more. CV Illuminati should be just fine to beat this team, but just letting you know that's what I do in room one. Room two is my kind of nothing room, right? I just this is a good team. It it, it it's a big team. People struggle with it. Um, it it's a you have to you have to treat it with it's a black order of quicksilver. It can still kill you um, if you're taking something too weak. Uh, Hive mind scroll. We've used it before, tons of times. Works very well. It draws what you need it to do, which is Cabal. It needs to draw uh, APOC teams. Those can beat it, but that's what you're trying to force there. Then you got your your uh, Old Man Logan team in four with that Noir. This is going to force, again, that Ape. You're just trying to draw the same thing. Just tax them over and over again. APOC, Cabal, Illuminati. If you can draw those three teams and just make sure that your defense is strong enough that they don't have beyond that, Unless they're heavy offense, which then you're going to be just fine uh, on your end, right? Because then you're going to have still plenty of things to use yourself. Um, okay. And then on the second half of my defense, let me get that loaded up. Okay. Then the last two rooms, I have Dorm with Extreme. Uh, this team I'm not as satisfied with, I think. Maybe just having full extreme and keeping dorm on offense might be the better play for my next week. Uh, especially as I'm telling people some of my defenses, they're going to have, if they start running superior six with Black Knight, uh, that's an extra wrench in the system that um, I haven't seen a lot on offense on my end. And also, I think people are starting to learn that uh, CB Illuminati into Mephisto Spider Society is a bad idea. Um, seeing too many people drop that fight, I've had four opponents try it. Only one has succeeded. That person ended up beating me, but the other ones, they either didn't clear uh, or they dropped, you know, an extra attack or two or they had to do what I did, right? You had to, to end up saving that first Illuminati hit and then you had to come and you still have to use your SD and your CGR, your SD or whatever. And that's just two huge teams. Um, 
So again, Mephisto Spider Study. If you have Mephisto, I think is the no is is the no brainer, or maybe Mephisto with that that um, Ultimus Quicksilver or sorry, uh, Ultimus uh, Surfer team with the Eternals is a great team, and then you can still have your Spider Society in five. Uh, that's a great option for you as well. Uh, just throwing that out there. All right, and one final announcement that I'm excited to say is we did our gender reveal today and we ended up with a girl. So I uh, just did a quick little edit. I didn't like the way that the first video came out. So in case you're wondering why I changed shirts. Um, but yeah, so excited to see baby number two. That's my son. Obviously, I blurred his face because um, a little bit. And then, yeah, you can see the pink and just excited for that. Um, so this is just me reminding y'all, hey, um, expecting... In case you're wondering where I've been the last couple of weeks, been a little slower on the videos. Uh, we started the school year um, with that and my wife going through the first trimester of pregnancy. It's a little difficult for me to be on consistently. And so I just want to say, please be patient um, as I go through this season. It's just my priorities have to be with taking care of my wife and my son and um, then, you know, making sure that they're OK first. Um, and getting gameplay in second and uh that just means a little bit less streaming a little bit less youtube for this season not gone forever but just for this season uh, i'll be uploading a little slower a little less um but feel free to reach out or if you if you have an idea of what i should be covering um i thought about going over my dd6 dd7 planner what am i doing for dd8 things that i could do um, in chunks instead of in a live stream like I've been doing with my CC attacks. That's why I did the review. Um, and I'll be trying to do more of those because it's just very difficult in the evenings to get my actual CC stream done because of just making sure my focus is elsewhere right now and making sure we start the school year off bright, making sure my wife's taken care of, making sure my son's taken care of. Um, but yeah, just thank you all for supporting me. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, it means a lot to me, um, all the encouraging things that I've seen on Twitch and YouTube uh, about that, about all the things going on in my life. And so just thank y'all uh, so much for everything that y'all do. Um, and just going to sign off here. Again, thank y'all for watching. Later, y'all.